St. Louis County leaders call it a complexity of problems. Lucas Hunt Village Apartments have been issued dozens of violations in the months following a Fox Files investigation into a woman's so-called living nightmare, living with standing water in her kitchen. Investigator Mitch McCoy is pushing for accountability and learning the area has become a regular spot for inspectors. Hello, good to be with you. St. Louis County Public Works recently issued a vacate order for 13 different apartments. For Teresa Denson, she got out just in the nick of time, but had to leave many of her things behind. Sometimes it's the simple things. I get sunlight streaming in. And the people that can make life seem whole. I have my packets of teas in my Lipton container. I just love them. Aren't they adorable? They are. The thing is, is you were you were starting over. Yes. All of this At stuff 80. is from friends. friends, church, 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 and friends. Teresa Denson is rebuilding her life after fleeing a flooded situation. I left with no mattresses. I left with no bedding. This is from a friend. This this is. I just love this throw. I I don't no pillows. I'm not living, I'm existing at this point. The Fox Files met the 80 year old in October when she had an inch or two of water in her kitchen. A service ticket shows she reported it days before she called us for help. St. Louis County heard about the problem from the Fox Files, then found a life safety violation. Well, at this point, the, the residents are experiencing a wide variety of, of problems. Dave Roan, a spokesman for St. Louis County Public Works, says around 40 violations have been issued since October, from inadequate or non-functional plumbing to boilers affecting hot water and heat to garbage piling up. Efforts have been made to correct some of the issues. Have you guys been in contact with the owner of the property? We have been in contact with management on a regular basis. I can't tell you that we've spoken directly to the entity that owns it. Um, it's an LLC as I understand it. From maintenance to public safety. <laughs> the Fox Files captured this St. Louis County police SUV racing into Lucas Hunt Village the other day. County PD says it's responded to 6,893 calls at the complex since 2020 and performed about 3,000 extra patrols. There are so many severe issues up there. It is, a, it is something that... Uh, is frustrating to us, just as we know it's frustrating to, to the people who, who are living in, in those conditions. The county says there are 27 buildings, roughly 600 individual units, but 50% of the complex is vacant. Roan says inspectors have been to the property nearly every day, sometimes multiple times a day for various issues. Just last week, the county ordered more than a dozen apartments to vacate because of code violations. Someone or if an entity doesn't choose to make the necessary corrections to, a, to the failing system. That leaves us with very limited options. I stopped by the leasing office. Good, I'm going to channel two. The Fox Files wanted their side to the story and respond to the allegations of being a property filled with problems. The leasing agent says he did not think that's an accurate description and that they only manage the complex. Okay, who owns the property? The worker says he's not at liberty to say, but that didn't stop me from doing the homework. County records reveal the owner is 956 miles away in Brooklyn, New York. The address has ties to this LLC, Skyward Equities. I gave him a call, told them about the story. The woman on the phone confirmed they own Lucas Hunt Village. Then the phone disconnected. No answer on callback. Tenants were getting together to protest it no hot water, no heat. Do you think that you helped create a voice for the people who live there? I think you arrived at the right time and, st and you helped create um, arena, an arena so that people started to say what? And that's when they started collecting signatures about what was wrong in the apartments. Teresa moved across town earlier this month, and she's thankful she did. Most of the apartments told to vacate are in the same building she lived in. The 80-year-old says it's time for the St. Louis County Council to put safeguards in place to protect renters like her from what she called a living nightmare. I would like to see the county step in and make somebody responsible for what has not been going on. 
A spokesman for St. Louis County Executive Sam Page's office says the number of citations prove the county is taking the issue seriously, but admits that more needs to happen. That spokesman writing, quote, while some progress has been made, it is clear more needs to happen. Obviously, if the owners do not comply, they will find themselves in court explaining to a judge why they are not. I appreciate you highlighting this issue. Hopeful that your reporting will encourage the owners to do the right thing. For the Fox Files, I'm investigator Mitch McCoy.